what is up everybody Ripper Lotus here and today I'm going to be translating that customization footage that I uploaded a couple days for you guys a lot of you guys really wanted a translation for this so I'm gonna go ahead and deliver on that front and just a notification for while I'm going through the big blue letters that appear on the screen throughout the video that is basically just describing what you see on screen I attempted to do some translations well some subtitles types of things but it just really wasn't working out with the way the translator was working so I couldn't really put those in but I'm gonna do my best to describe to you what the translator put out to me so let's get right into it and from the beginning shots of the live stream where they're still creating the custom created character there's nothing really new on that front I believe everything that we have in the trial version which is up on the PS4 version if you haven't tried it yet go ahead and try that out it is free just download the demo and the trial will be available from there but basically nothing really new on that front is pretty much all the base customization we've seen and had available to us so far but we're going to get right into the grid of the video and we're going to start at 1010 shop now 1010 shop as you know it is where you go to open those scrolls that you've earned from both the pve and pvp side of the game come in crack them open see what you get now at the main menu i will begin my translation and i'm going to read them from top to bottom from what they mean and it reads weapons costumes avatar decorative which will be your accessories and consumption items which would be your scrolls which is why there isn't a little notification as you can see there on the screen because they just opened the only two scrolls that they had available now there are two big portions of this video that i want to talk about and the first one would be right here on the weapon screen in the bottom right you can see this little chart now this chart is actually that specified weapon stats yes there are weapon stats within the game but it's not really game breaking guys so relax and from top to bottom it reads power reach speed and repeated hitting performance which i would assume means combo potential and also on the screen you can also see that each weapon is designated to a specific type within the game now I myself am a little saddened by this because I was hoping to be able to use awesome and knuckle knives on my defense type character but hey it is what it is I have to dabble in attack type for a bit to use them but you know I kind of like it in a sense you know it gives some emphasis to play the other classes and whatnot but hey but moving forward as I stated before 1010 shop is where you can also buy costumes as you can see on the screen you were able to buy the starting outfits from the other villages and whatnot and as you see now you're able to purchase some accessories from here as well i believe more will be unlocked as you progress through the game and right now on screen you can see the different hairstyles that is available that you are able to purchase from within the shop but more hairstyles are purchasable from within 1010 shop within the in-game store using the in-game currency so don't have to worry about spending real money to change your character's looks at the moment. We don't know what the future will entail. Now, as you can see on screen, you're also able to change your headband separately from your outfit. It costs 5,000 Rayo, as you see on screen. And that is pretty much it for a 1010 shop. You are also able to sell back items to 1010 if you mistakenly purchase something or you have something in your inventory that you do not want. So that is an option available for you. Now, moving right into Sakura's shop, going to translate the menu from top to bottom and it reads equipment change as we all know it appearance change name change which i would assume mean the titles that you get from within the game shinobi remake and at the bottom it says gift box so yes you are able to gift items to your friends from what these translations read but i would assume it's something similar to what xenoverse has in place to where you can only gift certain rankings of items so i'm gonna assume anything b rank and under you will be able to gift to your friends but anything a rank or s rank are items you won't be able to share it's something that they'll have to obtain for themselves so i'm pretty sure that's going to be the system in place take it with a grain of salt it might not be you may be able to gift everything you have but i doubt that's the case now the only other big portion from Sakura's shop to take from, we've already seen the equipment change, the appearance change, etc. is the Shinobi remake. Now as I stated back in Tintin shop where we saw them switch from a male character to a female character and back to a male character. Now I believe we are able to customize our characters fully. Back in the video that I posted, one of the sayings in the big blue letters that were on the screen is that change your CAC's appearance at any time. So it 
apparently from the translation we may be able to customize our characters fully at any given time it is a possibility take it with a grain of salt but it is a possibility so let that be known but we're going to keep it moving right into the last bit of translations that i want to share with you guys and it's the big piece of information that i wanted to share and it takes place in the vr ninjutsu arena with sasuke and it comes from the rewards that you get from leveling up your mentors. And we're going to move right into this little screenshot of Sasuke's rewards that he has available. And I'm going to translate them from top to bottom. And the first thing you'll get from Sasuke is Chidori. When you add him as your master, he'll give you Chidori from going on the first mission that you will have available with him. And you will have access to Chidori from that spot on. And the second thing you'll get from Sasuke is his costume set that he wears within game. And the other thing you'll get at rank 2 is New Master Liberation, which I believe you'll unlock a new master to train under once you get him to rank 2. So getting him to rank 2, you unlock another mentor to train under, and you'll be able to go under them once you decide you are done with Sasuke. Now the third thing you get at the rank 3, you get his Fireball Jutsu that he has available in his kit. Now the big thing that I wanted to talk about is that Sasuke offers a third Jutsu that is not his secret technique. His secret technique is his fifth item that you get from him, which is the Kirin. The fourth option that you get from him the translation reads firebomb now i believe this might be the dragon bombs that he threw at itachi while he was fighting him the firebombs that was shaped in the head of a dragon this may very well be that jutsu we'll just have to wait till the game releases to figure this out and this was the other big piece of information that i wanted to talk to you guys about that there very well be other ninjutsu that these mentors have to offer us. As for Naruto, he teaches the Rasengan, the Rasen Shuriken, the Shadow Clone Jutsu for the Substitution, and the Odama Rasengan O. Like, each of these mentors have more to offer just than, other than their ninjutsu and ultimate jutsu. So, look forward to other options coming from these mentors coming in the future. As for Sakura, she gives her Cellular Extraction Jutsu, her old Cherry Blossom Crash, and she gives a secret scroll. I don't know what that means. <laughs> we'll have to wait till the game releases to find out, but look forward to obtaining other items from these mentors. Sasuke also gives his Shindo shirt, which I believe is his shirt that he had on in the beginning of Shippuden, the little white shirt that he had on. I, I love that outfit. It's dope. It's probably something that I'm probably going to rock on my character. I'll have to see what all is available to me. But that is all the big information from the live stream, guys. Let me know what you thought about it down in the comment section below. And I guess if you enjoyed the video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more Naruto to Boruto Shinobi Strikers content and other anime content coming to the channel in the future. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.